Hi there, Mouseketeers! Kate from Princess Mini here, and I am here today on the ninth day of Vlogmas. Welcome back to my channel with a really fun, easy, fairly inexpensive, and really quick to make Christmas craft that could probably also stay up at other times of the year too. So we're going to make a really amazing Mickey head wreath. I love the way this wreath came out. I can't wait to share the whole process with you, but really it is so easy to make. Honestly, I think I, I mostly made it watching TV and just updating my video a little bit here and there. And Nothing about it was too challenging, a, definitely a beginner level project, I think, personally, and you can really customize it in so many ways, but you could easily go out and make this this weekend. So I wanted to make sure to get this video up during the week so you could plan out how you are going to tackle this project really soon. Before we get into making the uh, project, I will go ahead and move our star to the ninth pocket. Don't forget to stick around after we reveal the final piece for our mystery ornament of the day. But let's go ahead and get started on our project. Since we're going to be making a wreath, the most important part of the craft would be what we use to make the wreath, these um, circles. I found these at Joann's and I specifically found them in the floral crafting section and these are a, by a brand called Flora Craft. There are two small ones for Mickey's ears, which happen to be 9.8 inches in diameter. And then the large one for Mickey's head comes in at 15.8 inches in diameter. So that's gonna form the base of our wreath, but then to make it Christmassy, we are going to wrap it in this green garland. I got this from Target in the Wonder Shop holiday Christmas section. It says 50 feet, which I think should be more than enough, but I will let you know how much it really seems like we're using. And then finally, you need a Santa hat. That's how I'm choosing to decorate mine. Obviously, you can do yours however you would like, but I'm gonna make a Santa Mickey wreath. So we need a Santa hat, and I did get this one from Michael's Craft Store. So those are our main elements, but then the little crafty uh, tools we're going to use are scissors, duct tape, glue gun, and glue stick. For the first big step of this craft, you're going to lay out your wreaths, kind of eyeball where you want everything to go. Then we're gonna take our duct tape and we're gonna wind the duct tape around the two wreaths to connect them. Um, I do think that you could cover everything first with garland and then, you know, use some glue to like connect them. But I'm more concerned about stability than I am about the overall appearance. So I do think that even though it might look slightly better to do it the second way with the covering these first and then attaching, I do think it's gonna be worth it stability wise to attach first with the duct tape so they're super snug and secure and then cover everything in the garland. And here we go with the two smaller circles duct taped and I am really, really happy. I'm shaking it right now and nothing is moving. So I know that this will hang really well and it will store really well for next year too. And what I wound up doing was cutting a few strips of duct tape and starting on this side and just winding it around to the back, flipping it over and doing the same to the front. So there's about six strips of duct tape on each side. And uh, it was pretty simple. I don't think that there's like any one technique for this that would be better than any others. So now I have my garland and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind it around the back and then I will be putting some hot glue right here and just letting it completely dry before starting to wind the garland all the way around the Mickey head. So I put a big blob of hot glue right here next to the duct tape and it only took, you know, a few seconds to press the garland down for it to stick and then I let it cool completely. What I'm going to start doing now is winding the garland through the middle of the circle and around and it should get this like nice thick green look. Probably going to have to scrunch it up 
and then I only want to do one pass though so I don't want to like have to come back so I'd rather it go you know closer together than farther apart that looks really good though and I will be putting little bits of glue maybe every couple of inches just to just to make sure it stays together but definitely not like an entire line of glue and now everything between the duct tape is finished and I did stop about right in the middle and then right before the other duct tape to put a little bit more glue just to again keep it sturdy so now we're just going to continue but instead of going around the larger circle we're going to go up and start going around the smaller circle and just continuing again weaving the garland in and out around the circle and just kind of smushing it to the side to make sure that all that white is completely covered. All right, we're gonna go completely around and back onto the rest of the circle in the same manner. We're gonna come up this ear, weave in and out around and be able to finally glue our last dot right next to where we started from. I really thought you were gonna be able to tell that these were separate pieces, that uh, this was going to be very obviously wrapped around two circles, but really I think the garland completely hides that fact. So for this structural integrity of this, I am so glad I decided to go with the duct tape first. Definitely can't see it. And then I will let you know, I had 50 feet of garland and I needed all but about two feet of it. So this took about 48 feet of garland. That is insane to me. I did not think that was going to be the case. So definitely get more than you think you might need. Um, now, the last part is to decorate it. Obviously, I kind of feel like this could be a really good just winter decoration if you don't put anything permanent on it. But I also was thinking like little um, holly berries would be beautiful. You could put different kind of flowers, like poinsettia flowers, like fake obviously, on it. I already told you I'm going for the Santa Claus look. But I think that this is just darling. I think you could even put like a little bow tie here maybe if you were so inclined to make a giant bow tie. But yeah, I think this is looking wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Santa hat. I think that I'm not going to permanently attach the Santa hat with glue because I think when I put it against the wall and hang it up for display, the Santa hat's gonna sit just fine and it's not gonna be at risk for falling off, but then I can just remove it. And again, I can keep this up until, you know, maybe the end of February or so. Voila, here it is. I am just obsessed with this. It looked so funny in the beginning. It started looking a, a lot more serious towards the middle. And then by the end, I was like, yes, this is perfect. I love the ears. I love the dimensions of this. I think sometimes if you don't watch your proportions, the main piece Mickey's head turns out to be a lot bigger and way out of proportion with teeny tiny ears so just watch your materials watch your dimensions your proportions and then like I said I'm not going to glue down this hat because I think I'll be able to just kind of arrange it nicely or put some kind of temporary way of securing it but that way I can actually just take it off and I think that this could easily be left up for like January, even February, and maybe changing out some designs on there. Like if I put something like up for January, I could put like some snowflakes on it. Um, or I could for Valentine's Day, maybe make a, like a bow that was red and pink and white or something. I also mentioned I was left over with maybe about two feet or so of garland. And I was trying to imagine if I could attach it to the back and then I would even have this really cute um, like way to hang it. I like to hang things on command strips so that way it's really easy to um, you know protect your walls. So I feel like I could easily hang this then over a command strip. But I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. But I wanted to mention it in case you decided that that would be a good option for you. Let's get our ninth mystery ornament. I'm just going to pick like the first thing that I feel today. 
Yay! Okay, we have a Star Wars ornament. I got this. Well, it's a Hallmark branded ornament, but I want to say maybe I got this at like Target or something like that. And it's a Porg. I love Porgs. They are one of my absolute top favorite Star Wars like creatures. And this guy, he looks a little bit sad, but not too sad, which Porgs kind of can, can be. Oh wow, he actually really brought the branch down. I'm surprised, I might move him back a little bit, but I really wanted to be able to see this little porg all the time. So I put him right next to me and right next to Bowser. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're gonna tackle this craft down below. I already am thinking of ways I'm going to kind of do this craft again next year, or really not how I'm gonna redo it, but how I'm gonna decorate it. But this year I'm going for that simplistic Santa hat look. Next year I might make it a little fancier or something like that. But if you have any ideas, definitely let me know. I will be bringing some more crafts to you very soon, as well as other Vlogmas content. I hope you're having just like a, a wonderful magical season and I'll see you real soon.